Hi, good afternoon, and welcome back to my channel. You know, um, making the drug life easier is that's what we do. Uh, so today, I'm just gonna do a quick, uh, a short video on the administration, uh, rather the reconstitution and the administration of imipinum uh, plus lastatin. So before I talk about the uh, reconstitution of this drug and how you administer it. And I want you to talk briefly about what this drug basically it is. So imibinum basically comes from the class of drugs known as carbapenems. These are very broad spectrum antibiotics that with great coverage. They are used for um, uh, wide range infections. Of course, they are really good drugs for treatment of actually intra-abdomen infections, peritonitis, and different organ of course, uh, uh, the infections, of course, they have good wide coverage. They cover uh, gram positives gram negatives and also anaerobic activity but they do not have activity against atypicals okay so this drug as you can see it, it comes in combination with slastatin because this drug basically there is uh, an enzyme known as what you call uh, uh, human dihydropeptidase enzyme type 1 which is of course found in the kidneys this enzyme inactivate this drug um, basically um, so that's why uh, this drug comes in in that combination with uh, slastatin. So basically, I won't that with much of the time. I'm gonna go direct to reconstitution and how you give this drug. The first thing that I have to state is that this drug, of course, we have to know what is the compatible um, fluids to use when reconstituting, of course, this drug. Of course, we most common one we use this is normal sarin that we use uh, in, in this aspect because some fluids, of course, have been noted to uh, somehow reduce the activity of the drug. Um, so how do you reconstitute this drug? So I would say that this, let me just say that this drug comes in different uh, strength. Of course we have a 250 milligram vial that sometimes might come in 250 milligrams. You have a vial that comes into this. Of course we've got also the other one of course that is 500 milligrams vial. Of course there's also one gram vial. One gram vial. So, when you are reconstituting this drug, what I, I like to teach my people that I work with is that I want them to understand the concept, it's not just memorize like how much fluid should I add to this drug, but I tell them that they have to understand the concentration. So we have to know what is our target concentration in the reconstituting or rather concentration of this drug. So when you're reconstituting uh, mepinum, you the target concentration should not be over or else should not exceed uh, 5 milligram per meal of the drug. So this is the final concentration that we should be always aiming at and not to exceed over this or this concentration. So what does it mean? That means that if I have a 500 milligram vial, 500 milligram vial, I can only add total volume of how many? 100 mils of normal saline. So if I have 500 milligram vial, I just need to add the 100 mils of uh, normal saline and this is I'm gonna be coming up with 100 mils of the drug itself so that's what it means by having the target concentration if I have what one gram mean that I need to have many 250 uh, 200 mils of the drug that's what I have 50 mils of the normal saline so the final volume of course will be how much uh, 200 mils now the administration of this drug is very important so in we do not give it's not recommended to give this drug as IV push. In Mepinem, we don't give Mepinem as IV push. And I'll say it, we do not give Mepinem as an IV push, but we give it as an IV infusion over a certain specific range of time. So uh, depending on the, the dosage or the strength of the drug itself, time also matters. Because when you give IV push, there's high risk factors that are uh, adverse effects that may be notable. One is nausea and vomiting. Apart from that, you could have uh, what you call anaphylactic reaction, probitis. Those uh, side effects are more notable to be known, rather more actually in people that are receiving rapid infusion of the drug itself. And of course, they are at risk of also having renal dysfunction. Well, this drug really can be really renal toxic. So we give it as IV infusion over a specific range of time. So if you are receiving 500 mg dose as a patient, then the, uh, the patient, of course, we need to give this patient, of course, uh, since it's 500 mg and below, we give it over 15 to 30 minutes of IV infusion. 
So if we a patient is getting doses of uh, 500 milligrams and above, let's say above 500 milligram doses, we need to give it at least 40 to 60 minutes uh, that period of time. So I will make it easier way that this drug must be reconstituted to the final concentration of 5 milligrams per meal. That means that if we have a 500 milligram vial, we can only add 100 milligrams, uh, 100 mils, sorry, of a solution, which in this case, normal sarin, coming up with making this concentration. And this drug should not be given as an IV push, but rather should be given as an infusion over a specific range of time, depending on the dose that the patient is getting. If the patient is getting doses less below 500 milligrams, you can give it between 30 to, uh, sorry, 15 to 30 minutes. And if a patient is receiving dosages of 500 milligrams and above, so let's say above 500 milligrams, you have to give it, of course, uh, uh, 40 to 60 minutes. And this is how I had for you for the simple administration of imepinam plus lastatin. Have a great day and stay safe in the era of COVID-19. God bless you.